we used to run the, our, our strong, world's strongest athlete competition was a awesome awesome charity event for multiple sclerosis we we started it way back in 2003 it grew um the last year we had it was 2010 which is the the year that pat won the high school division but we had over 500 spectators uh show up at that event we had athletes literally from all over the world come to compete it was an atmosphere if you could have the closest thing to a super bowl atmosphere and it was just you it's one of those you had to be there but you and you even had the confidence i remember i think you you even went up uh because it's a charity event for ms i i remember my dad was on the field and my mother was there and you might have even went up to her and uh, you were like, this is for you or something. And I was like, holy shit. Yep. He's like, he's yeah. like Babe Ruth calling his shots. Like, this I was is, calling it. He's got no legs left. Well, he's what like, happened? This, is D, this one's for you. And I was like, damn, is he going to be able to back that up? The double overtime, I hit the prowler way too low on the first one. And that. It, it is true. And uh, George Carlin was, so was good, right yeah. with that one. And I, I just want to define mental toughness real quick because I always um, I think this kind of wraps everything pulls it all together and then we'll move on but how I would define mental tough toughness a psychological edge that enables an athlete to remain focused and confident during high pressure situations to perform at their full potential and to me if you read you know hear that definition like that that 2010 world's strongest athlete was the epitome of a mental toughness being built in this gym, which is more productive in athletics and life than, than any, any amount of strength you could gain, any, any time we could shave off your 40-yard dash, any inches we could add to your vertical jump. So um, let, let, we'll kind of end that segment there uh, and the importance of it. At the gym. Definitely. That... You know, you learn, and it's not just learning about yourself. It's learning about the the rest of the world and, and getting those lessons and being able to the to apply those, athletically, academically, financially, socially. You know, it's invaluable. You don't get that if you're if you're growing up getting your trophy when you when you took last. It, it's a different yeah, and around the it's same a different people, dynamic. Yeah, definitely. Same town, same people. Like I said, same race. Same, like literally, just everything's the same and kind of. Uh, take a little sidestep but again back to my perspective the other cool thing pat talking about culture and creating that atmosphere in your gym and what people would a lot of business books they talk about that third place like you want your gym to be that third place in somebody's life where you have home and then there's either you know work for older people or school for like college kids you're you're either home you're at school or you're either home and at work Where's that third place that you love to go when you're not home and you're not at work? And, you know, I think every gym owner should aspire for your gym to be that third place where it always meant a lot to me when, when kids like Pat would have break, like, trickling down. And then once you have the Pat Coles of the world, Ryan Hoffer, if he's listening, oh, shout Hoff. out. Oh, what's uh, up, Hoff? Mar uh, Brian Markowski, who I, I trained since 15 and end up being the best man at my wedding, and, and all the guys we've been mentioning – you know, then as a gym owner, I could go to Connecticut and go train Triple H and Stephanie McMahon and know that, you know, random people aren't going to be going into the employee bathroom. And because now the, 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 the kids who were one time the eighth grade, new eighth graders and the newbies in the gym, they're 20 year old college athletes and they took ownership in that gym. And, you know, Pat looked at the gym like it was his own. And that's truly what I want everybody to think of it as. And that's how I ran it. And when you have a bunch of quote unquote clients that are really have become your family and take ownership in that gym and care about it like you care about it, that's how you have that experience and that third place. And that, that's how that's created this same vibe and same atmosphere and this culture and just sense of community in their gym. They all cared. They all developed relationships with their clients. They, their their clients have become family. You got to be somewhat transparent. Like these guys know. Like I, I'm not the type. I'm not going to come into the gym and complain. Like I try my best to always. No matter how bad of a day I'm having, it's it's got to be positive, upbeat. Um, you know, Steve Steve Barnes actually paid me the biggest compliment ever. Uh, Thursday, last Thursday, he goes. 
man, are you? Because uh, I was telling him how I broke the record. Uh, I got back from Triple H and Steph's house at three fifteen in the morning because we I got murdered in traffic going there. Um, there was an accident. There was construction. We started late. I got murdered with um, construction coming home. So it just in conversation, I was like, man, I've been uh, got home at three fifteen in the morning, and we started training, and he was like. Dude, I, what do you never get tired? Like, how are you always so alive and awake? Like, you don't get tired. And th- just on that particular day, I was never as tired as I was uh, last Thursday in my life. Like, I felt like my eyes were bleeding. Me and Ashley are going through some <laughs> bullshit trying to get a house with the mortgage. And, like, it, like so many issues going on. My back has been awful with nerve pain shooting down my legs. But, like... My thing was always, you come to an atmosphere like this, like, you don't want to hear my problems. Like, as much as I know the guys care oh, yeah. about me, th- you're, you're coming in here, this is the hour yeah. to get after it, put all your problems aside, lift weights, run, yeah. feel better about yourself. So, if you, any gym owners out there, your, your clients don't want to hear your problems, I don't want to get on this tangent. Be in, I want to be in Hollywood, I want to go be the guy in front of the camera. Look at this. And, uh, and growing up in the gym... And seeing the guys chasing that passion and achieving that, that gave me the confidence to say, you know what, screw this. I'm going to go out. So I'm driving to West Hollywood on September 23rd. Like, I'm, my buddy and I are getting in my Jeep. I'm towing a U-Haul. And I'm going out to L.A. And I'm going to use all the lessons that I learned in the gym to you know for hopefully you guys to see me on the big screen one day so i'm going to go out i'm going to try to act i'm going to try to get in front of the camera as much as i can and i'm not afraid of that and my mother hi mom my mother says she's a realist and she says what if it doesn't happen what if what if and i say you can't think like that <laughs> you know if if i went under a bar and i, I squatted my max um before i tore my groin so <laughs> enough, before i tore my groin my max into franco's <laughs> was 575 on a squat very strong legs. Sister. Very strong. And that was that, I think, we, had, we actually got video of you, like, in, shit, eighth grade squatting, and then again, like, maybe. Oh, yeah. I'm going to let... The 405, video, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to yeah. see this transformation. Oh, those are old school. Uh, any videos of Pat, old school ones from you, underscore Cole 15. Yeah, yeah. Look at you, you two, you good-looking couple over there. Yeah, and then, uh, so, our food Instagram, which is actually... I love that you have a food. It is pretty dope. So my girlfriend and I, we would both post (laughs) pictures of the food we were eating when we go out to eat. We go out to eat a lot, as much as we could. When I was getting my scholarship check, I didn't save any of it. I went all (laughs) going into D.C. and getting food. And we were posting all the same pictures. So we said, you know what, screw it. Let's consolidate. Okay. okay. Let's make our own page. It's pal underscore eats, P-A-L. My girlfriend's name is Alexandra. So P-A-L underscore eats, eats food, you know, obviously. E A T S, so pal underscore eats, and it's the uh, the sometimes outrageous and always delicious diet of Pat now. Wow, I what love a plug! It. So, what a um, plug! I'm going on there. I'm going on my Instagram right now, and we are at the Franco's Gym on all social media platforms. Hopefully, all you people know that. And so, let's check this out. In honor, here's what we're gonna do. First, first two people, two that are listening to the show. Follow Pat on Twitter, and all you have to do is send him a message. I heard you on the hashtag Industrial Strength Show. First two people to get that tweet to Pat, you got yourself custom paired to Franco Strong Fat Grips. Bada boom. How you doing? Don't say we never did anything for you. Bang. All right, and that is about it, people. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully you enjoyed this a uh, little different, different type of ep- episode today. Let your brain relax from some of the science of nutrition and and training and uh thank you pat for for coming out thanks for having me brother always great to see you and don't forget to go on itunes subscribe to the show stitcher you could subscribe to the show or just go to my website defranco's training.com or defranco's gym.com click on the podcast section and you could get the show notes and listen to the show there every week without having to subscribe. And don't forget to listen to the show every Thursday. And tell your friends about me. Every Thursday, new episodes of the Industrial Strength Show. Thanks, guys. Peace. Forget about all the money and cars. Forget about the fame. You're so fun. I can't deny.
baby qui est pas sale Ombre, puis soif est tombé à pic sur la plaza Quand ta main fait le plein, on quitte la casa Je donne le gaz à fond, file comme la NASA J'avoue la rasa, j'oublie la familia Ces milliards d'amigos, les autres filles aussi Alors calme je à tes copines Mais t'es déjà, le show gosse de partout Elle m'appelle, mais t'es déjà Vamos à la playa, señorita bella Dis-moi de meilleur, sur les doutes, on est là-bas Plage de Colombia, c'est la bomba Loin du stress, maîtresse, la vie est à combat J'y sais que seul pour tour de la vie On est jeune, on flex pour le fun Rien que pour le fun, quoi Fais du cash, signe des autographes, bébé Underdog, be swap, mais c'est grave, bébé Now watch this boss fly as a master of the ceremony Don't even try, it's the party